Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm going to do a ring pour spiral. So I have just done a straight pour onto a canvas and the, the canvas was on a turntable and I turned it as I straight poured it out. So I'm going to do exactly the same, but I'm going to try it with a ring pour. Different colours, really beautiful colours. Um, so I'm going to do a ring pour and very slowly turn the canvas at the same time to get a kind of spiral. So I'm really excited to try it. These are my colours. They're all leftover colours. Um, so I've only got quite a small amount of each, but I've got the iridescent um, red blue pebio pebio's iridescent orange and the iridescent blue green this is uh, i think amsterdam ultramarine violet light this is oh it's a i think it's a cobalt purple magenta and some amsterdam white um, all of these paints are mixed with pva glue and water um, and the consistency because it's quite shallow it's difficult to show you um, reasonably thick but it flows really nicely. In fact, there's more white. Can I show you on the white? Yeah, it flows really nicely. I've got a plastic half pint cup here I'm going to layer up. This I've decided is my order, um, but I've got the white. So I'm going to be putting the white in um, at different places in the in the lineup. Um, I think I might actually just start with a little bit of white. So I'm going to layer up the cup. I'm just going to pour the paint down the side of the cup because there's not that much paint I'll probably use half of what's in the cup for each layer so they'll be relatively thin layers The canvas I'm using is 30 centimetres square. I'm just going to put a puddle down in the centre so I can pour into that puddle. And I'll just tilt it around just to get a bit more of that canvas covered in the centre. It just means that the puddle will flow nicely if, it, if I pour into the puddle. Right, I'll torch that. There's lots of air bubbles in that. So my plan is to do a ring pour in the centre to keep my right hand still, apart from the rings, so it's always in the centre, and then with my left hand, just very, very slowly turn this round so it creates um, a spiral as I'm pouring it out. Um, I don't know if this is going to work or not and unfortunately because I'm using a plastic cup I haven't got a good funnel which is a bit of a shame but actually let's just tilt the puddle this way a bit more. Right, here it goes. It'll be a bit messy to start with, it always is, until I get a really good round movement.
Wow, the colours and the effects are beautiful. Loving that little fleck of white in the middle. Right, I'm just going to torch it. There's quite a few air bubbles. It is quite dark. I wonder if it will lighten up as I stretch it out. I think it probably will. The white is in there. Just, it's not that obvious at the moment. Right, I want to keep as much of this design as possible. So I'm going to put some flow extender around. So just some other colours I happen to have. Same consistency, but just different colours, which I haven't used in this pour. Right, although this is on a cake turntable, I'm not actually going to spin it because the paint's really thick. It, sm it spins out slowly, but then I find it totally distorts because some of the paint starts rolling over the edges. So that bit pulls out more, but not on the corners because it takes longer to get to the corners. So I'm not actually going to spin it. I'm going to tilt it. Uh, let me just try and show you that beautiful centre. The colours are just gorgeous and the... The designs are just are so pretty. Just hope I can keep that. Um, in fact, I'm just going to move my cake turntable so it doesn't get really messy. So don't, it's not necessary for it to be there now. Let's just check you can still see that. So I think to start with, I'm just going to sort of push it towards the corners. I'm not too worried if it's not perfect circles at the end. I'm really not, because by going over the corners, it will distort it, so it really doesn't matter. I'd quite like the very centre to be round still, so it looks like that spiral effect. So, right, let's go up over the corners. Already that's opened up. See how that's looking a lot paler suddenly. Already that's opening up. Wow, the colours are gorgeous. I was a bit hesitant about adding that turquoise because it doesn't, it's a really contrasting colour, but it's looking really, really pretty. Oh, I've got a really good feeling about this piece. Wow, I love it. I don't think I'm going to do anything else with that. The composition is gorgeous. So it looks like some sort of ammonite now, a little little fossil in the centre that becomes a bit distorted. Oh, I love it. It's the colours. The colours are just beautiful. The purple will dry much darker, um, but I think I've got enough light here for that to be okay. I'm not going to do anything else. I love it. I will just dab these corners because then it's just mist on the corners. And then I will show you 
Can you see just how much depth there is in this? So it does, it spirals downwards into that darker centre. The colours are absolutely stunning, absolutely gorgeous colours. You've got some real sparkly iridescence there um, from some of them. Look at those effects and those designs. I'm so excited. I'm preferring the ring pour um, on the spiral ring pour than the straight pour spiral. So I think I will get more colours out and do this again with some other colours because this is so pretty. It just adds, but by spinning it around, it just adds a totally different sort of um, dynamic to the painting to have that, that really pretty spiral effect in the centre. Wow. I love it. I am so excited. I hope this dries well. So it's now totally dry. I love absolutely everything about this painting. Um, I love the composition. I love the colours. I love the flow of it, the depth in it. I'm so happy with it. So you've got around the edge this much lighter pinky band, which I just, and because it's just so irregular and choppy and wavy, I just think that really frames it nicely around that side of the painting. And then around the other side, you've got this much darker, more mysterious looking section. Um, you can see how the colours just flow over each other, the transparency of the colours. Um, beautiful, beautiful effects. And look at that amazing sort of turquoisey line around the, pur around the purpley colour. And then the centre, it's definitely like a fossil. Um, just absolutely beautiful effects. You can see the depth in it. So this looks like it's further towards out towards me and then it gets deeper. Um, and then the real, the actual real centre is so pretty. So I'm loving, absolutely loving doing these spiral pours, spiral ring pours. I'm definitely going to do more of these. Um, I just think they give such a different result to a normal ring pour. Um, and then obviously the edges, love the nice thick edges. Excuse the, the push pins are still in the back there. Um, and down the edges, just such thick, rich edges to this, this painting. Great, thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments, please do leave me a comment. Um, I'd love to know what you think. Um, and thank you so much for watching. Take care, bye.